Hey Dragonfly Swarm, so we finally reached the discussion on the second of two reruns happening simultaneously in the first half of 2.3 Genshin Impact, Albedo. Albedo is an insanely underrated and kind of misunderstood character who has always been very strong despite many players, myself included at one point, not entirely understanding how he works, but with 2.3's upcoming artifact sets, weapons, and Geo characters, Albedo is on track to becoming one of the strongest off-field DPS characters in the entire game. To start, Albedo has a unique attribute in which his elemental skills damage scales off of his total defense. Defense, making him one of currently only two characters in the entire game that benefit heavily from defense substats. The only issue with this is that up until now, there was never an artifact set or sword that was designed for characters like Albedo, and so for the past year, he's kind of been in an awkward spot where he is extremely powerful but still not living up to his full potential. However, with the newest artifact set coming to 2.3, Husk of Opulent Dreams, all of those problems are gonna be solved. The Husk's two-piece effect grants characters a pretty hefty 30% defense bonus, and the four-piece effect grants a character a stack of curiosity every time they hit an enemy with a geo attack, up to 4 stacks maximum. Each stack grants the character 6% defense and 6% geo damage, up to a maximum of 24% for both. For Albedo alone, this is absolutely huge. I, I won't even mention how strong this will be on Noel and very likely Ito as well, but this new set will help Albedo's damage output scale massively overall. His previous best in slot was a two-piece combination of Archaic Petra and Noblesse Oblige, which granted him 20% increased burst damage and 15% increased geo damage, but with this set, he's missing out on a bit of the extra burst damage in exchange for a massive boost to his overall defense, which will increase his elemental skills damage output far more than the two-piece two-piece combination did. And he's also still enjoying an extra 9% geo damage bonus with the four-piece of Opulent Dreams, so the loss in burst damage is minimal. Another topic I want to discuss, although being more on the speculative side, is this new weapon coming with Albedo's event, the Cinnabar Spindle. As a four-star sword that was heavily promoted alongside Albedo and his event in the 2.3 livestream, my assumption is that this is Mihoyo's plan for a solution of Albedo having no best in slot weapon. Just as he had no best in slot 4 piece artifact set, it's a safe assumption that this weapon is designed for him to perform at his absolute best. However, as to how it'll perform, what it scales off of, and what it does, we won't know until Mihoyo tells us. So I could be wrong, but again, there's yet to be any swords introduced that synergize perfectly with Albedo's kit besides Harbinger of Dawn, and that only counts because it massively increases his crit ratio basically for free. But Albedo's biggest new indirect buff, if you will, is the addition of Ito and Goro to the game. We now know that Ito is definitely meant to be a DPS unit, making him the very first 5-star Geo DPS in the game. And it would also seem that with Goro's kit, having multiple Geo members on one team will heavily benefit Albedo's damage output. As stated in the 2.3 livestream, with one extra Geo member on your team, Goro's abilities grant a defense bonus, which is great for Albedo. And with three Geo members in the party, the party enjoys a Geo damage bonus. So it's likely that Albedo's own damage output will be massively increased in a team with Ito, Goro, Albedo, and a shielder for the Geo Resonance passive. And while Albedo's definitely been able to make use of Geo DPS units such as Ningguang and Noel before 2.3, the combination of Goro's abilities along with Ito's scaling and the new artifact set Opulent Dreams will all likely stack heavily to make Albedo one of the highest damaging off-field DPS units in the game when paired with the right team and built correctly. Overall, it's interesting noting how before 2.3, Albedo seemed to be a very abstract character that you could kind of just throw on any team for extra off-field damage and maybe a bit of utility support from his second ascension passive, but besides that, he was never really in a position to be noted as a must-have character because he never really had any amazing synergies with artifact sets, weapons, or team comps. With 2.3, however, that's pretty much all changing, and even if you don't end up pulling for Ito for Albedo to support him, if you manage to snag a Goro from Wishing, you could get away with building a triple Geo team out of Albedo, Goro, and Noel or Ningguang to reap the same massive damage bonuses for Albedo. So it's really nice to see that he's not only getting a bunch of buffs to his own raw damage output, but also multiple buffs to his synergy and relevance to the game as well. It's an amazing time to pull for Albedo if you've been wanting to, and if you've been on the fence about him, I'd say as long as you're willing to lean into the idea of a triple or full Geo team, his damage, his potential, and his value is absolutely worth pulling for in 2.3. But yeah, that's about it from self-proclaimed rock enthusiast Dragonfly today. So if you like this video or it helped you in any way, please subscribe because it helps the channel, or you can join my Discord server or follow me on Twitch because I stream almost every night at 7 p.m. EST. All right, I'm gonna go mentally prepare for this evil Albedo arc because I don't know, man. I don't know.